Assalamualaikum and Hi everything We will take a look at lecture 2 The Relational Model Part 1 These are the objectives of this lesson We will take a look at relation, attribute, mathematical relation The relational schema and the properties of relation the relational model was first proposed by Edgar Frankot in his seminal paper in 1970. Previously, data appears to be stored in what we have been referring to as simple and linear files. Relational databases are based on mathematics. The concept is relation. By definition, a relational database is a collection of relations that as a group contain the data that describes a particular business environment. The concept relation is known as table. Relation consists of attributes. An attribute consists of domain. What does it mean by domain here? It is a set of allowable values. Let's take a look at this example. The relation is also known as a table. The attributes are columns in a table. Carnality is a maximum number of entity occurrences in relationship. Degree means number of attributes it contains. In this example, the degree of the relation is 4. These are the different terms used for the relation. Sometimes you call a relation, sometimes you call a table. Table is equal to file. The tuple is equal to row, or it is also known as record. For attribute, it is equal to column, and sometimes we call it as a field. Let's take a look what does it by attribute domain. If we take a look, salary here. What if I want to insert the salary 9000A? It cannot be accepted. Why? Because the domain has to be a number, but we insert a character. So that's why it cannot be accepted. Let's take a look at branch number. What if I want to insert the branch number to be B1000? It is also cannot be accepted. Because why? It is out of the range. If we take a look, the range for branch number is only from B001 up until B999. Now, let's take a look on mathematical relation. Consider we have these two set D1 and D2. If we do the Cartesian product of D1 and D2, we will get this answer. 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 4, 1, 4, 3 and 4, 5. This is how we get to the answer. Sometimes, we can apply certain rules to our relation. Let's take a look. What if we want to get x and y? x from d1, y from d2, and y must be equal to 1. That's our condition. From the answer, only 2, 1 and 4, 1 satisfy the condition. What does it mean here? We have a lot of data in the table. But if we give some conditions, only few data will be populated in the table result. Now, let's take a look at another example. Let's say we still have the same set D1 and D2. The Cartesian product of D1 and D2 will yield this result. What if we give another condition? We want the data to be in X and Y. X coming from D1, Y coming from D2, and X must be equals to 2Y. Based on the Cartesian product, we can see that only 2, 1 satisfies the condition. Let's consider these three sets, D1, D2 and D3. If we do Cartesian product of D1, D2 and D3, this would be the result. How to get those results? This is the way. We will have 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, 1, 4, 5, 1, 4, 6 and so forth. We can extend the three sets and define a general relation of n domain. Let d1, d2 up until the end be the n set. The Cartesian product is as follows. So if we have the n is equal to 5, we will have d1, Cartesian product with d2 up until d5. 
Let's take a look at database relation. In database relation, we have two concepts. The first concept is relation schema. Relation schema is a name relation defined by a set of attribute and domain name pair. For example, we have staff. Inside staff, we have staff ID, staff name and so forth. What does it by relational database schema? It is a set of relation schemas, each with a distinct name. For example, we have relation staff, department and location in our database. Let's take a look on properties of relation. The first one is relation name or table name cannot be the same. The second one, each cell of relation contains exactly one atomic or single value. If you take a look, each each cell can only have one value. The third one, each attribute has a distinct name. What does it mean here? Column name cannot be the same. Number four, values of an attribute are all from the same domain. If you take a look here, if the column is a numbered column, everything inside this column has to be number. Then each tuple is distinct. There are no duplicate tuples, means we have a primary key for each and every table in our database. This primary key can ensure that there is no data redundancy in our database. Next, order of attributes has no significance, means which attribute comes first or which attributes comes later in your table is not important. Then the last one is order of tuples has no significance. What does it mean here? Which data at the top, which data at the bottom is not important. That's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.